Okay. Are you <laughs> yes. Okay. So, I'm sick because somebody got me sick. I think it... Anyway, here's <coughs> Mr. Doyle, who's guest teaching for Whee! you guys. So, it'll be really fun. Do awesome. Go, to Mr. Doyle. Don't do terribly and make me look bad. <laughs> okay. This is what's going to happen. You're going to copy everything down as I say it semi-quickly, and then because you will be held accountable for this. And then I'm going to go through the examples, and then you get to do the exercises. Just the exercises? On your own? Yes. And the exercises? The, how long is the problem set since it's the weekend? Mm, the problem set is, can you tell we thought about this ahead of time? The problem set is one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, eleven, okay. twelve, yeah, no. thirteen, the, fourteen. We'll, we'll hold off on that. Okay. The let's just stick with the ex exercises then. Okay. Here we go. That took long enough. The coordinate plane below contains figure P parallelogram A B C D. So what are what are we doing today? We are kind of doing the same thing that you guys did yesterday when you're finding area and perimeter of different shapes. Um, except we're talking about areas of parallelograms, and so we're going to walk through this. So A says, write the ordered pairs of each of the vertices next to the vertex point for uh, this dude right here. So we're going to, I'm going to zoom in and write the points for all these. And you're going to have to forgive my terrible handwriting because I have a junky stylus, so not a fancy one. So here A is negative... 3, negative 4, I'm going to use a different color for the next one so we can see it. B is uh, 0, 2, 5, or C is 5, 2, 5, 2, and D is 2, Negative four. Yes, okay, those are all correct. Then it wants us to, that was uh, 3a, draw a rectangle around surrounding figure P that has a vertex points A and C. Label the two triangles in the figure as S and T. So it wants a and C as vertex points, and we're making a rectangle. So, um, you know, it's going to have to be like this, because if these, are, if these are, aren't corners, that means it's going to have to kind of go like this. So let's draw that. We're going to... Doo -doo -doo. So there's one rectangle, and it wants that to be... We're going to label that S. It's going to be S... And then this one over here, we'll make T. This is T. All right. And then it says, find the area of the rectangle. So the rectangle is, you could use some, if you were real smart, you could use all the distance, the coordinate points, but I'm just going to count. So this is 1, 2, 3, Sorry, if I start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The height is 6. And the width is, is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it's going to be 8 across the whole thing. So the area equals 6 times 8 which is 48, and it doesn't give us any units, so this is square units. And find the area of each triangle. So then I need to look at these triangles, and, oops, I'm going to do this triangle first. S, find S. And so the triangle is, looks like from here, this is the triangle, so it looks like it's 1, 2, 3, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to say the area of S 
we'll use a different color. So that says figure. Figure S. The area is one half of oh, I forgot what it was. Three by six. So three times six, which is going to be 18, because 3 times 6 is 18, sorry, and 1 half is 9, so it's, the area is 9 square units, and then you need to find the area of figure T, but I'm noticing it's 3 by 6, 2, so it's going to have the exact same area, so figure T is also Figure T is also nine square units. And then I'm not going to flip over yet, but on, so then when you go to the next page, it says use these areas for this is E. Use these areas to find the area of parallelogram A, B, C, D. So before I flip over, I'm going to remember because I can't go back that the area of the whole thing was 48, and then my two rec, uh, triangles are 9. And so what we're really doing is we're thinking, if I'm trying to find the area of, let's say we're trying to find the area of P, which is this area right here. So if I want to find the area of that, and I know the area of this whole giant rectangle, then I could subtract this triangle and this triangle and get P. So, moving along, B. So I'm going to take the area of, of the whole rectangle, which was 48, and I'm going to subtract the, uh, the area of one triangle and then the area of the other triangle. So I'm really just subtracting 18. So the area is 30 square units. All right. That one, I went pretty slow, just so everyone could follow along and write everything. I'm going to do the next one pretty quick. So the next one is the coordinate plane below contains figure R, a rectangle with the same base as the parallelogram above. Um, so we have to then which means that that would be 48. It says the same base as the parallelogram. Oh, no, sorry, I thought it said same area. Anyways, draw the triangles S and T and connect to figure R so that you create a rectangle that is the same size as the rectangle you created on the first coordinate plane. So this actually has the same base as before. If you recall, this, it was, um, you know, it was, uh, I think... I don't remember. Anyway, the <laughs> uh, we have to add the rectangles onto this thing so it has the same um, total area. So I can take, we already have R, so I'm going to add S and T, and they should both be 9. So um, that would be, I know that they were 3. That looks terrible. So I'm going to draw them like this. I'm going to say this is S. I'm going to say this is T. And if I were to... Why don't I zoom in? If I were to count them, then I could actually figure out that uh, the other triangles were 3 by uh, 6. And this is also... This is 6 right here. This is 3. So that this the area of this is 9. The area of this is also going to be 9 because it's the same 3 by... It's 1 half 3 times... Six, and so there's that. Find the area of rectangle R. So that would be, looks like we have six by one, two, three, four, five. So six times five is 30. Oops, wrong thing, six times five is 30 square units 
and what do figures R and P have in common? I already said what they have in common. They're the exact same. They're just, um, they just look different because one's upside down. So, you know, it's like they, they're flipped. Both, so both. Have the same area. Yay. And that's it. Have fun.